gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 30 seconds in round number two. A referee in charge, Lawrence Cole, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and the winner of the WBA Super Welterweight World Title Eliminator and still undefeated, the towering Inferno, Sebastian Fundora. I'm going to pause it right there, man, but this... I'm going to pause right there. Um, this guy, Fundora, man, like, he, he's improving. You know, Fundora is improving. You know, he did an amazing job, you know, using his jab. You know, especially for a guy that's, like, 6'7", uh, like, 153 pounds, I think. Um, you know, like, he did a very good job. You know, Ovid could not get in the inside. He couldn't even go to the body, man. You know, Fundora with that jab, man... He, he has a lot of power for how tall he is, but the thing that I'm concerned about is his body. Because, you know, like, nobody really, like, tested his body because a lot, you know. So, like, I want to see somebody, like, actually, like, test out his body because I'm not sure how his body is. But if he can handle, like, a lot of body shots and, like, won't budge, then he, like, like you know, he will be some special. Like, like, you know, like... But right now, if he fought like a guy like Errol Spence or like Sean Porter, for instance, let me let me just say if he fought like a guy like Sean Porter. If he fought like a guy like Sean Porter, Sean Porter's just gonna go to the body. You know, break him down to the body, you know, because you know, um, because he does move his head, you know, he bull rushes you. But you know, Fundora with his jab, man, his jab is amazing. Fundora's jab is amazing. Like, you know, Especially for how long and lengthy his arms are, like, like, like he is, like he's pretty good, man. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Fundor is pretty good, man. Um, you know, I j I want him to get like a little bit better fights, you know, like, um, like I don't, I don't, I this this will never happen, but if it does end up happening, um, uh, I think Fundor should uh fight um what's his name uh. Um, Clay Collard, because, like, you know, Clay Collard, man, Clay Collard, like, he is improving, man, especially, like, he is a late starter, he is, like, 26 years old, and he only has, like, a couple of fights, but, man, Cl Collard is improving, but, you know, um, but this man fell door, man, he's a, he's a dog, he's, especially how skinny he is, this guy is skinny, like, this guy is super skinny, but this guy, like, he has power on him. Like, like, bro, he was hurting Ahmed. And Ahmed has only one loss out of 27 wins. And I, and oh, yeah, I, wa I watched Ahmed fight uh once. Well, now twice because, you know, counting the Fundora fight. But the last fight he fought when he lost was against um, uh, uh, Gilberto Ramirez. Um, I watched that fight. He knocked... Um, like, he knocked him out. But, you know, Zerto, like... Like, Zerto would actually be an okay... A pretty good fight for uh Fundora later on. Because... Oh, wait. What? No. I, I, no, I think... Um, um, uh, Gilberto is, like... I think he's, like a, like, a... Like, a junior welterweight. Or, like, a middleweight or something like that. But, you know... Um, but, yeah. Ahmed's... Uh, Loss was, uh, you know, a f like Fundor and um, to um, uh, Zerda Ramirez or Gilberto Ramirez. Um, if you, as you guys don't know, if you guys don't know who uh, Gilberto, like Gilberto Ramirez, is, uh, like Gilberto Ramirez is, um, Gilberto is, um, like his, like his most popular fight was, um, like, against Jesse Hart, he beat Jesse Hart twice, you know, um, Jesse Hart, I mean, I'm, you know, uh, Jesse Hart, like, he just fights 10 round fights, like, like, he keep, like, losing, like, the world titles, man, like, like, I, like, you know, I don't think he's ever gonna be something, like, really big, like, no disrespect, but I don't think he's gonna be something, like, really big, because, like, you know, like his last, like his last fight uh, before was against um, uh, what's his name? 
this this guy named Smith. I don't know his first name, but I know it's Smith. Uh, I was about to say Callum Smith, but it's not Callum. Uh, I don't know his name, but um, like his re but like his like recent fight was like against uh Smith, and Smith's uh recent fight was against uh a leader Alvarez if you don't know, but um Smith uh knocked out um a leader Alvarez, um I don't know what round it was, but he was like beating him up, and a leader Alvarez like his uh um loss was against uh, um. Uh, uh, Sergey Kovalev. Yeah, but let's 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 talk about uh Fundora, man. But Fundora, ooh, six seven, a hundred fifty three pounds. He's tall, but man, he's skinny. If you see a fight, like he is skinny. Like Fundora, like you know, like I like I want I want to see Fun like Fundora fight. Like no, no, I was about to say. I want to see him fight like a guy like Brandon Figueroa, but he is uh, a couple weight classes above him. But uh, like maybe like you know or Dennis Ugas or like um, Abel Ramos, um, like someone like kind of like those guys is kind of level or like um, Omar Figueroa, you know uh, Brandon Figueroa's older brother, you know kind of like kind of like one of those kind of fights, you know. Just so, like, he can improve, you know? If he wins those fights, then, like, you could give him, like, a bigger fight. Like, Sean Porter or, like, Tony Harrison or, like, Jamel Charlo. Jamal Charlo. No, Jamal is bigger than him. But you know what I mean? Um, Like, give him, like, you know, bigger fights. Like, you know, Sean Porter, Errol Spence, uh, Danny, Danny Garcia, you know, um... Ugas, Tony Harrison, like, those, those kind of fights, like, if he, if he gets past, like, um, if he gets past, like, 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 those little fighters, like, you know, like, like, Ugas, or, like, Abel Ramos, like, those kind of level, you know, uh, and he beats those kind of guys, then, like, you know, he can prove to go up and level to, like, to, like, Errol Spence, and, you know, all those guys. Yeah, man, um, that's all I got to say for this one, man. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, this is Fight Media 360, and thank you all for watching this video.